When the current generation Audi RS5 debuted five years ago, it lost some of the visceral performance that its predecessor was famous for. That's not to say the RS5 is slow. On the contrary, it's a capable performer, but in the transition from former V8 to current twin-turbo V6, it lost some of the theater and thrills. The 2023 Audi RS5 looks to recapture a bit of that magic with a new competition package that improves handling and braking, as well as a sport exhaust system to get your blood pumping. The RS5 will continue to play second fiddle to the emotive BMW M4. There are also some forthcoming AMG variants of the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, to keep Audi honest. Despite its subtle lack of performance and driver engagement, the RS5 has a lot to offer, which we will be talking about shortly. The 2023 Audi RS5 is a high-performance model sitting above the A5 and S5, but its power and looks elevate it to a standalone model. Unlike its two German rivals, the Audi is offered as either a coupe or a more practical four-door hatchback, called the Sportback. Like the RS4 Avant, both the RS5 Coupe and RS5 Sportback are powered by the Porsche-designed 2.9-liter turbocharged V6 engine, 444 horsepower, 442 pounds-foot of torque driving through an 8-speed automatic transmission and quattro all-wheel drive system that debuted with the reveal of the second-generation models in 2016. The engine, which is also used in the Porsche Panamera S and KNS, as well as the Macan Turbo, develops 331 kilowatts from 5,700 rpm to 6,700 rpm and 600 pound-feet of torque from 1,900 rpm to 5,000 rpm, and drives all four wheels through an eight-speed automatic transmission. Cars fitted with the competition and competition plus packages shave a tenth of a second from that number, 3.8 seconds. Audi Sport engineers created the competition and competition plus packages specifically to make the RS5 Coupe and RS5 Sportback feel sharper and more responsive to drive. The upgrade package was a huge success. Both the RS5 Coupe and RS5 Sportback dive hungrily for apexes as soon as you move the Alcantara-covered steering wheel. If you need to adjust your line mid-corner, lifting off the throttle will get both cars to rotate nicely, they feel agile and alert. The 13.1 to 1 fixed ratio steering that's part of the Competition Plus package is one of the quickest fitted to a current production car, so the front wheels react more rapidly to driver input. Audi offers a number of option packages for customers looking to add equipment to an already extensive standard features list. The RS5 turns in an impressive 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.7 seconds and can pull a full G around the skid bid, which means high levels of road grip. Subjectively, it's missing some of the excitement expected of an RS car. In sport mode, it transforms into a very dynamic performer, but it does so by using sophisticated differentials that simulate a neutral or even loose rear end, which ends up feeling artificial. In normal driving modes, there is a significant lag before the engine spools up and starts moving the car, and also the brake pedal got noticeably soft, and the front rotors emitted loud squeals. They have more rounded shoulders than the standard tires to provide better steering accuracy and lateral support, and a grippier compound. Audi Sport says with the remapped ABS, the new tires help reduce the stopping distance of the RS5 Coupe and RS5 Sportback from 100 km per hour by 2 meters. What the RS5 surrenders in excitement it makes up for in touring comfort. The front seats offer great lateral support without being confining, and they're also shaped well for long-distance drives. The difference in ride quality between comfort and dynamic modes is very noticeable. In dynamic mode, it gets much stiffer, yet it can maintain composure without riding harshly. Likewise, the cabin remains quiet at high speeds and over rougher pavement. Road noise is present, but only just so. The engine and exhaust sound good off the bat, and even better in dynamic mode, if not a bit synthetic. We're fairly certain the oral experience involves using the speakers to pipe in some of that sound. Nevertheless, the revised software that's part of the competition and competition plus packages means in manual mode the transmission will hold the gear you've selected. The massive carbon ceramic brakes fill the space behind the wheels, but the brake pedal could be firmer, and the engine power cutout activated by pressure on the brake pedal can be annoyingly interruptive if you're in the habit of left foot braking. As in all Audi's different drive modes, the Comfort, Auto, and Dynamic are selected by toggling a switch on the dash, 
or via a menu on the touchscreen. However, the RS button on the steering wheel of the RS5 Coupe and RS5 Sportback does allow you to switch more rapidly between comfort and a sportier mode. As with all performance autos, the RS5 Coupe and RS5 Sportback interiors combine cool technical luxury with sporty touches, such as carbon fiber and unique graphics for the digital instrument panel and central touchscreen. It's easy to access the front seats, and once there, it feels as though you're sitting just a bit tall for a sporty sedan. Rear passengers will likely have to stoop a little to clear the sleek profile of the rear roofline. Visibility is good aside from a thick rear roof pillar that sits squarely in your over-the-shoulder view. Some people may prefer the RS5's last-generation infotainment system more than the new version. The RS5 uses Audi's last-generation interior design, which is much more user-friendly and less distracting. Unlike the newer layout, you get a good number of physical buttons, which means you won't have to dig through touchscreen menus. Every control is thoughtfully placed and has a solid and quality feel to it. The infotainment display is right in the driver's sight lines, and the dial controller is less distracting than a touchscreen to navigate menus with. Programmable shortcut buttons are a bonus amenity. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto smartphone integration systems are standard, and they booted up quickly and were glitch-free. The adaptive cruise control functions well, with smooth reactions to changing traffic conditions. The EPA says the RS5 Sportback gets 21 miles per gallon combined, 18 miles per gallon on city and 25 miles per gallon on highway, which is pretty good, considering how fast it is. Since there is only one trim level, the big decision is whether to go with the Cooper four-door Sportback. Whichever body style you choose, we suggest adding the new competition package, which should improve handling performance and enhance some of its visceral theater. The RS5 Coupe and Sportback come with these equipment and highlights. 19-inch alloy wheels with summer performance tires, auto-dimming and power-folding heated mirrors, torque-vectoring rear differential which can enhance agility when cornering, selectable drive modes, matrix design LED headlights, panoramic sunroof, three-zone climate control, heated front sport seat stitching with RS logo, finished with contrasting red for the Coupe and Honeycomb for Sportback, heated rear seats, premium leather upholstery, digital instrument panel, heated steering wheel, 10.1-inch touch display, wireless changing pad with signal booster, Android Auto and wireless Apple CarPlay, Bang & Olufsen surround sound system, satellite radio. Advanced safety features include forward collision mitigation which warns you of an impending collision and applies the brakes in certain scenarios, lane departure warning that alerts you if the vehicle begins to drift out of its lane, front and rear parking sensors that alert you to obstacles that may not be visible in front of or behind the vehicle when parking, automatic high beams. Optional features for the RS5 include the competition package, 20-inch wheels, Pirelli P0 Corsa tires, 180 mile per hour top speed, sport steering, high performance suspension, RS Sport exhaust system with black tips, front ceramic brake rotors, carbon fiber trim elements, faux suede interior trim and partial seat upholstery. The dynamic package one include red brake calipers, RS Sport suspension plus with adaptive dampers, RS Sport exhaust system with black tips, black optic carbon package, the dynamic package to include 20-inch alloy wheels, carbon fiber exterior mirror housings, rear lip and front spoiler, high-gloss black exterior elements, black optic package. The dynamic package 3 include 20-inch bi-color alloy wheels, high-gloss black mirror housings, rear lip and front spoiler, RS driver assistance package. And all packages include adaptive cruise control which maintains a driver set distance between the RS5 and the car in front. Lane keeping assistance which steers the RS5 back into its lane if it begins to drift over the lane marker. Head-up display which displays important information in your sight line onto the windshield. 360-degree surround view camera system which gives you a top-down view of the RS5 and its surroundings for tight parking situations. Traffic sign reader. Navigation package. Integrated navigation system. The subscription-based Audi Connect online communication services. Sight assist package. Blind spot warning which which alerts you if a vehicle in the next lane over is in your blind spot. Rear automatic braking that brakes if sensors detect an imminent collision with an object behind the vehicle. Matte finish exterior mirror housings. This is the 2023 Audi RS5 Competition Coupe.